What up guys, Alex here, GuitarForce.com. So as you can see today, we're going to take a look at Sympathy for the Devil by the Rolling Stones. And in this lesson, we're going to break down the rhythm part and also um, the first solo, which is played by Keith Richards. Uh, but uh, keep in mind that uh, this is taken from the live version, which is the uh, Get Your Yaya's Out. And um, the second solo, which is played by Mick Taylor, is going to be available on my Patreon page. Uh, or you can get as a standalone the whole lesson on all of these parts, the uh, two solos and the rhythm part um, from my website. Um, as a standalone, like I said, all of the uh, links are going to be in the description box down below. And also you c you're going to get uh, the uh, access or you're going to get the uh, tabs uh, and the backing track to this song. Um, also, I'm going to post a link to the cover playthrough of these uh, two solos, which are going to be on my other channel. The link is going to be in the description box down below. So if you're interested, check it out. Uh, for the sound, I was using the VST plugin Guitar Rig. I'm going to show you the picture of the preset in just a moment. The tuning for this song is going to be standard. And uh, while you're checking out the picture of the preset, here is my low E so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's go for the close-up and start the lesson. Alright, so before we dive into the solo, just want to show you the uh, chords uh, that are being played throughout the whole song, the structure of it. And it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. We have uh, E major, going to D, to A, and back to E. And then we start all over again, the whole thing. So the um, the picking pattern is um, is pretty straightforward as well and you can even come up with your own but uh, in general it sounds something like this Okay, so here in the end of the uh, chord progression, I was using one getting back to the E major again, uh, just adding a little bit of a variation here, uh, like a little lick. So here using the sixes, the interval, just sliding into the fourth fret on the high E and the G strings, and just picking it a few times and then getting back to the, uh, to the chord progression again. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty simple. And uh, this is one way how you can play it, obviously, you know, using open chords. The other variation would be playing it here in a different position. And it's lightly palm muted, slightly palm muting the chords. Um, so um, that's another way how to play it. Um, obviously the sound is going to change a little bit. Now, um, this is mix part and uh, what Keith is playing is playing slightly differently. Uh, this rhythmical, this, um, the chord progression and he's using uh, mostly the, uh, the first inversion chords. So his part sounds something like this and uh, this is just one way to show you how he plays it. He varies it um, during the whole song. Um, a lot of times, so um, playing different things, but um, the main idea is like this, so he plays So as I said, uh, using the um, the first inversion um, of the chords. So here we have the E, and he's doing so, just hammering on from the ninth to eleventh fret on the A string, and then letting ring out the rest of the chord. And then he does a little um, uh, like a lick. So here we have nine to eleven on A, and then hammer on uh, nine to eleven 
uh, using a double stop on the D and the G strings, but hammering on onto the uh, D string. So it's uh, and then going back to the A string. So and then we go to the D chord. So we move everything down to frets and playing basically the same thing. And then for the A, so we have uh, this double stop on the D and the G strings. Um, on the ninth fret and hammering on to the, to the 11 on the D, and then adding this part, which is a part of the uh, this shape of the chord, which is C. So just adding on the uh, B and the G strings a couple of times. So we have 10th fret on B and uh, a nine on the G. So picking it a couple of times and then pulling off to the 9th fret on the B string, like that, and then getting back to the E uh, chord again. So that's a little variation. Like I said, he varies this rhythm um, throughout the entire song, playing along the lines something uh, like that. And uh, this is his way of, um, of playing the song. Now, besides that part, we also have one more part, which is um, uh, using the uh, sort of turnaround when, when we go to the B chord. And it's just pretty straightforward. We uh, play the B chord. And then getting back to the E. So it's sort of based on the blues progression. So for the turnaround, we go for the B, uh, B major chord, either here can play it here and then getting back to the um, to the main part of the song to the main uh, chord progression back again all right so that's pretty much it for the rhythm part now let's go on to the uh, first solo which is uh, played by Keith let's take a listen to it first and then we're gonna come back and break it down So we're going to break up this solo into licks, phrases and parts. We're going to start off with the first phrase, which goes like this. Alright, so here starts off on the um, last bit of the bar. So we got uh, one, two, three, four. And then on the four end, we start off the solo. So sliding into the seventh fret on the A string, we then go to the uh, D string, 5th fret, hold on to this note, then we have again back to A, 7th fret, and then 5 to 7 on the D, and then we have, so it's again back 7 to 5 on the D, 7 on the A string. So that's the first phrase. The, the second phrase is very similar to this one, it goes like this. So here we have um, a very quick slide, kind of on the low E string, um, around 7th fret or something like that. It's just a short note, like that. Then we have a rest, and then we have... 
it. So we're sliding into the seventh fret on the A string uh, a couple of times and then picking it one more time. And then we go again to the fifth fret on the D string. Back to seven on A. Again, five to seven on D. And then we have two times seven to five on the D string. And then from seven, we slide up to the ninth fret and uh, add some vibrato. One more time, the whole phrase. And then we go into the next phrase, which goes like this. So here we have nine on D string, then we go to G7 to 9, 8 on B, back to 9 on the G string, and adding some vibrato. Then we continue. So it's again picking the 9th uh, fret on the G, then we have a slight bend on the B string, 10th fret, going to the 8, then again back to G string 9, and we cut it off this phrase with a uh, a fret on the B string, kind of with the slow, with the small vibe, um, bend at the end. So the whole phrase. Like that. Then we continue with the next phrase, which goes like this. Alright, so here, again, starting with the 9th fret on the G string. Then we go to the B string 10th fret, we have three bands here. Then uh, bringing down, picking that note on the 10th fret. Then we have 8 to 10 on the same string. Bending up uh, the 10th fret. And then we play 8 on B. So... Like that. And then we have... So it's 9, 7, 9 on the G string. Then we continue with the... So it's 8 on B, 9 on G string, a, a slight bend on the 10th fret of the B string, back to the 8th fret again, and then again 9 on G, 10 to 8 on the B string, 9 on G, picking it one more time, and then 8 frets on the B string, sliding out. So slowly the whole phrase is going to be like this. Next phrase goes like this. Here we have a hammer on 7 to 9 on the G string. Then we have 8 on B. 9 on G, back to 8 on B, so it's like that. Then we have 9 on the G string, and in some of a then 8 on B, sliding out. Again, the whole phrase slowly. Continue with the next phrase, goes like this. So here we start off with uh, four bends on the 10th fret of the B string. Then bringing it down, adding some vibrato. Then we have... So it's again bent up, bring down, 10th fret. And then play 8, 10, 8. So, so far we got this slowly. Again, adding some vibrato and then we go into... So it's 9, 7, 9 on G, 8 on the B string, and then we do it again. So it's two times. And then we continue with uh, two notes on the 9th fret of the G string, 8 on B, 2, 9 on G. Then we have bent up on the B string, 10th fret, then play right away 8th fret. And then finish it off with the ten, nine fret. I'm sorry, on the G string. So the whole phrase slowly is going to be like this. Then we 
continue with the next phrase goes like this. So here starts off on the off beat, so we got one end. So on the end, we start bending the uh, B string on the 10th fret. As you bend it up, then um, pick the high E on the 10th fret at the same time. Then pick the B string again, bring it down, pull off to 8, and then uh, play 9 on the G string. Like that. Then we continue. So here we have bend on the G on the B string, I'm sorry, 10th fret. Then we have 8, quickly go into the G string 9th fret. Then the second part of the phrase is again 8 on the B string, 9 on G, quickly go into the bend on the 10th fret of the B string, and then playing 8, 9 on the G, and then sliding out from the 8th fret of, uh, on, on the B string. Like that. Then we have um, the next phrase which goes like this. So here again we have, we have a bend on the B string, 10th fret. This time it's going to be quicker, so we bend it up, catch the uh, high E on the 10th fret, then bring down the B string, pull off to 8, and play 9 on the G string. And then again sliding out from the 8th frets of, uh, on the B string. And we play this lick for two times. Then we have... So it's 12, 10 on high E string, then 8 on B, 9 on G, back to 8 on B and slide out. Next phrase is going to be like this. So here we have 14 frets on the D string. Then we play a double stop, 12 frets on the G and the B strings with a slight bend. And then um, going back to the 14 on the D string. Uh, staying on this note for two beats. And then we have, um, we go into this series of, um, of bends and uh, kind of alternating the bend with the, uh, with the B string. So I'm going to play it through uh, one time slowly and then I'm going to explain. So it goes like this. Alright, so I'm going to stop right here. So it starts off with um, a quick uh, hit of uh, the double stop on the 12th fret. Like that. So two times quickly and then we go into like I said into this uh, lick where we bend the B string I'm sorry the G string on the 14th fret and alternating it with the 12th on the B string and there is a specific rhythm to this um, to this phrase and what I would suggest you do is just listen carefully uh, to the slowed down version try to play it uh, with me and then uh, you know just uh, uh, speed it up so I'm going to play it one more time slowly, just uh, try to follow the rhythm and it goes like this. So the last time when we bend the string up on the 14th fret of the G string, you bend it up, you pick the B on the 12th and then pick the G again, bring it down and then play 12, 14, 12 on the G string, going to 14 on the D string. So I'm going to play the whole phrase again one more time slowly, it goes like this. Okay, just uh, one quick side note here. So when, when we do the uh, bends on the G string, alternating that, with the B string, there is one moment where you have to bend the G string two times. Okay, so it's gonna be. Here we go into. So when you play this fast, after that, uh, after the last bend on the G string, you play again 
there is a kind of little rest and then we bend up the string again and then we go into into this part all right so we're going to continue with the next uh, phrase it's it's the same phrase but uh, we um, it's kind of broken down into the into parts so we continue with the rest of the of the phrase it's going to go like this so it's 12th fret on the G uh, going to D string 14 then we play a double stop 14th fret of the G and the B strings back to 12th fret on the G then again 14 on D and then we play 14, 12 on G, um, 14 on D, and picking it one more time. And then the last note is going to be a double stop, 12th fret on the G and the B strings, and we slide out. I'm going to play the whole phrase with the previous part um, together, slowly, so you can see what's going on. So it goes like this. Next phrase goes like this. All right, so here, uh, after a rest, we slide into the 14th fret on the D string. Then we go to G, 12 to 14. Then bend it up. And then catch the high E on the 12th fret. Like that. Rest, and then we have so again, it's a bend uh, on the 14th fret of the G string, then uh, picking high on the 12th, then bending up the uh, 15th fret on the B string, and then we're picking again 12th fret on the high E, and then we have bending 15th fret of the high E and bringing it down. The whole phrase with the previous one is going to be like this. After that, we'll continue with the next phrase, which is... So here we play 12 on high E, alternating that with a 15 on the B string, then going back to 12 again on high E and picking it two times. Adding some vibrato, then we have... So it's again 12 high E, 15 B, back to 12 on high E, adding some vibrato, and then we slide out. Then we pick it one more time, and then we're going to... So here we're just um, going down the, um, the pentatonic scale, so it starts off with a 12 high E, 15 12 on B, 14 12 on G, 14 on D, back to G string 12 to 14, and then we go into the next phrase. So I'm gonna play one more time um, this uh, few couple of, of phrases together, so it goes like this, slowly. Okay, so after this part we go into the last um, phrase of the uh, solo. I'm gonna play it through um, just once and then I'm gonna explain, so it goes like this. Okay, so here again we have um, similar to the previous lick that we did with uh, with this uh, thing where we were bending the G string 14th fret and alternating that with the 12th on the B string, but it's a slightly different, um, not slightly, it's, it's actually uh, uh, quite different to to the one that we played before. So, uh, but it's, it's in the same style. So we have a bend on a G string 14th fret and then alternating that with the 12th on the B. Um, again, the whole thing here is in the rhythm and uh, we do this for three times. So the third time, actually the, the fourth time when we do it, we have 
we bend up the G string, bring it down, pull off to 12, then go to 14 on a D, and then back again to the G string, 12 to 14, and then we continue with the alternating, like that. So again, we do it for three times, and then the last time, bend up the string, bring it down. So kind of repeating the phrase, but again, like I said, the whole thing here is in the, is in the rhythm. And then in the end we have... After the bend and when we bring it down, we bend up the string, then we go to 12 on G, 14 on D, back again to G 12 to 14, uh, 12 to 14 on a D, and then 14 to 12 on G string, 14 on D sliding out and then in the end we have um, again double stop but this time on the ninth fret D and the G strings and slide out so I'm gonna play this whole phrase um, the last one slowly so just follow the rhythm so it goes like this So now I'm going to play the whole solo, all of the licks, all of the phrases back to back together uh, slowly so you can see what's going on. So it goes like this. Alright guys, so that was it for this part. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also comment, share, subscribe. Uh, the second part, the second solo is going to be available, like I said, on my Patreon page or as a standalone on my website. All of the links are in the description box down below. Thank you very much for checking out this video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.